Hi, thank you so much for 7,500 subscribers. I thought I might just show you guys my Minecraft house and show you show you around. So I got this nice, lovely skeleton painting just kind of hanging out on the wall. Over here, you can see we got we got luscious woods all around. This here is our little like crafting room. There's ore and stuff in the barrels. Coal already in all of these. This is just a bunch of like mismatched armor I've found, including a turtle helmet I built. We can kind of look out the window a little bit here. Anvil, you know, you got the works. This here is the main room, including our front door. You know, it's not an awful lot, but I figured I'd just show you guys around and we could, you know, appreciate my Minecraft house a little bit. What? Uh... Uh... What? Hello? Hi, I don't know when this is coming out, um, but I had an idea. It's a very dumb idea. I told you it was a very dumb idea. So if you're not familiar with the back rooms, this was a, like an internet joke post that's been going around of a hypothetical, what would happen if you no clipped out of bounds in reality? And it was, this, and it was the idea that it would just be like this endless, empty white office space that you just wander around in, lost, forever. Um, I thought, hey, we should try it, we could, we could build that. I just wanna, okay, that's perfect. There's our wall. We need something similar-ish for carpet. I don't even know, they added smooth sandstone. That looks a little weird, but it's fine. Uh, I forgot there'll be enemies. Hold on. There we are. We don't need those right now. Uh, so three. I have to be careful with how I place the logs, don't I? <coughs> Ooh! Ooh, that's nice. That's actually a really nice touch. The back rooms now make cave noises. Uh, a sea lantern works above water, right? Um, real fast, I just want to get in here and try out a different color. What would this look like in here? Oh, that's actually way better. Wow. Oh, don't, don't, don't glitch on me. That looks neat. These are very wide hallways. Um... And they go floor to ceiling, so maybe like this. This almost, um, it almost looks like there's a hallway, so we're just gonna do a quick hallway. I don't even know why I'm bothering to make this consistent. There's gotta be a better way to do this. Legitimately, I've kind of had, I had a nightmare similar to the back rooms at one point. In, in the nightmare, I woke up stranded on like a Minecraft super flat map, but in real life. And all that happened in the nightmare is I wandered around Tired and starving, looking for anything, and there was nothing. Also, like, I need to, like, sincerely thank you guys, and also say you guys are crazy. Uh, the Let's Talk About Bay Day 2 is, like, at 100,000 views. <laughs> sincerely, sincerely, sincerely thank you. Um, it, 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 it truly does mean a lot to me that I spent a lot of time on that video, and there's been a lot of really good comments. I, Actually, the back rooms is a lot, it's a lot like, um, there used to be an old Minecraft bug where if you were in an abandoned mineshaft and you tried to leave an abandoned mineshaft, it would spawn a new abandoned mineshaft, so you got stuck in an endless vortex of abandoned mineshaft that would just keep overriding itself and keep, like, rearranging itself, and there was no escape, except for death. So that's really what that reminds me of. And I, I, like, I can't explain that further, so don't ask me to. Also, I think the thing that really, like, imagines my dragons on this one is it's a it's a real office building. Like, somebody works there. I don't know. There's something about the implications there that just... I don't know. 
I wish my older brother were here because he's a uh, he does a lot of CAD work. He'd be able to figure out how we, we should do the um, the fake fluorescent fixtures to make it look believable. He knows a lot of that like type of like building logic stuff, especially in regards to like electrical. I like how immediately, without fail, every time I build one of these rooms, it immediately starts making cave noises. Honestly, if there's not already somebody working on an indie horror game that takes place in a space like this that's constantly shifting, it's like each new room you walk into doesn't like mean anything in like a, a relative macro sense. So the map is ever constantly shifting. Somebody should do that, because that could actually be, like, a legitimately good idea for, um, an indie horror game. Kind of, like, along the lines of, uh, that one dev prototype that was going around for a while. Where every time you looked away and looked back in a train, like, things would change, like, the windows would be different. Probably shouldn't talk like E3 stuff because a lot can change in a few days. But uh, there, there was talk that Overwatch 2 will be announced. And that Blizzard was working on a, a StarCraft Destiny like ripoff game that they canceled to make Overwatch 2 happen. It's like, I don't know. If any of that gets like debunked or confirmed. That's gonna be like, that's gonna be freaking wild. I, I don't even know, dude. I gotta say, this is not good for my hand. Oh, earlier I talked about, um, a recent, or not even a recent, a nightmare I had once had about a, uh, no, 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 go on. Get, oh. What about a nightmare I'd had where I was kind of like stuck in a place like this? Oh my god, look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is rad. Oh, uh, we have it. How can you say that's not exactly, exactly the back rooms? Is this another hall? Oh my god. Yes. So the hallway spits out into another hallway. Oh, could you imagine doing like a, a Battle Royale-ish map that takes place in a thing like this? Oh my god, I'm getting I'm getting sidetracked, wow. Anyways, um, I should just cut to the chase, shouldn't I? Um, the f last week I had a weird kind of nightmare-ish thing where I had dreamt that like our sky hit equilibrium in like air pollutants. Like it hit like the break point. And we all woke up one morning to a red sun. It was because of air pollutants. And we had no chance of getting our old blue sky back. We would have the red forever. The red, um, the red sky would end up, like, doing damage, like, a bunch of damage to your eyes if you're standing out in it for too long. So most people were going to the optometrist pretty much every day. Additionally, pretty much everywhere in the world, there was only like eight hours of sun. And plus it is just like miserable. A bunch of people would have like, you'd go to your like do eye doctor and get like a surgery done that would fool, I think your cones? It would fool your eyes into seeing that kind of the reddish tint everything took on, like the sky took on, as blue. So people could fake having a blue sky again. Still would do a whole lot of damage to your eyes to stand out in it and the days were also super short. Jeff Bezos uh, comes on TV and he announces that if Amazon, through buyouts and new hires, had a billion more employees by the end of the week, then they would put up a fake sky, like a simulated electronic sky, that would be blue. And then plus, then it can display like the actual like stars at night. Um, light pollution wouldn't ever get in the way of stars at night. If his demands were not met, he would put up the, um, the fake sky, but never activate it, plunging the earth into eternal darkness. 
And this is on like every TV in the world. It's being broadcast in every language, on every channel. It becomes like the most talked about like news thing in history. Even like way more than the sky is now forever red and there's nothing you can do about it. But um, yeah, that was fr um, a frightening experience until I realized, oh, that's just my subconscious thinking. Hey, what if the sky went red and Jeff Bezos like tried to do like a mis like a who shot Mr. Burns, Dr. Robotnik pissing on the moon type of stunt? I saw a Minecraft one of these that was done where it was in the back of somebody's house and there's like a painting you walked through, and then once you'd walked through the painting. So it was like a painting over a bunch of signs. And you can walk through the signs, you can walk through the painting. And then once you've walked in, like pistons activate and and seal off the uh, the way in. So then you're stuck. Yeah, surprise, I'm not the only person who's done one of these. I felt like doing one just cause, you know, it's something different. I actually don't play Minecraft in creative mode all that much. I actually just really like survival mode. Which, you know, that's different strokes for different folks. Okay, so here I want another room. Oh no, th oh that's mean. I don't know if my, my plan is like obvious enough at the moment. I'm connecting this to this. It's funny, um, somebody from my video for social media class, which by the time this is out, ended like a week or two ago, or maybe more, uh, was recommended my Payday 2 review, and he's like, wait, I recognize that voice! It's like, yeah, surprise, uh, some of us have hobbies, and our hobby is more than just drinking. Although I don't know if he drinks. Actually, no, his, um, a bunch of his videos are about, like, smoothies, so... Yeah, some of us have hobbies other than drinking smoothies. Uh, mine just happened to be, you know, making videos on the internet. And then a bunch of people were like, yes, this, more of this. And I'm like, okay, neat. And we're in. So we've done it. Uh, we have the back rooms built. This it was a surreal experience. Kind of just building the thing. Walking around inside of it just feels, you know, a little off-putting. Everything kind of loops back around on itself. In strange, surreal ways. It feels significantly more open and less open than it actually, like, looks. We're gonna find a good place to... Here we go. And I want to build a normal house going, like, off of this, <clears throat> but with no door. So you're stuck inside the house. And then landscape the outside around the house to look, you know, a little more housey. we got to make sure not to have any windows on this side all facing out this way. I gotta make that feel, you know, very inconspicuous. Dan's going through some rough stuff at the moment. Um, so this comment section is now a Dan support thread. He did the art for the, th uh, the Payday 2 retrospective thumbnail. Um, go buy him a coffee. Uh, he has a, uh, a Ko-Fi, a coffee, I don't know how it's pronounced. Uh, Link, you can commission some art from our good friend Dan. So there's me like a, like a front back rooms that's just like a normal Minecraft house with all the works, but no door, no door anywhere. And then there'll be the back room back rooms, which, you know, we're back room shaped. I'm in, there we go. Bam, boom. And then let's see, is this one, two, three, four? Yep, so like maybe there and there. Oh, that actually feels really uh, nice and roomy. I like that. <clears throat> and I said this would be a bedroom, so we're gonna do we're gonna do a bed. And we're gonna do maybe Red's classic. Red's a classic. We'll do a red a classic red bed over on this wall. Nice double bed. 
a jukebox sitting right here. Oh, look at that. Oh, this feels really nice and um, cozy. I love this. We're gonna do a window out here. This will be glass panes. I wish there was an easy way to cover this up. Maybe, like, pistons? I don't know. I don't know, that, that, one's, that one's rough. And because the player's never gonna get out of the house, you know, intentionally, I can I can make these space. I don't these don't need to be like really tall spaces. They'd be kind of bunkerish as long as they get the point across. So I build a contraption that pushes two blocks down. The pistons are attracted. Two more blocks come in, and the pistons come down again. Could I like build that? I don't know. I don't know if I could build that. Somebody probably could. All right, this room is gonna be like a a crafting room. Some boots. That is a gross armor set, but it'll, you know, it makes, it'll make do. And I want some doors. Of course we want some doors. Where are our doors kept? Deception is my middle name. And then we'll have a nice, lovely patio. Uh-oh, we can't do a bay window. But we can do like a window like this. It's, it's fine. Hold on. There we go. It's just weirdly distended. Um, look at that. That's nice and cozy. Most of these are not going to be, like, visible. Like, I'm, I'm realizing that now. It's a little late for that. Okay. Um... It's still really obvious that, uh, this is just a, um, a super flat map. So I'm just gonna, we're just gonna do a little more tree cover. So, as you can see, the goal is to just try to make the view outside the, the window as pleasant as possible, but with as little information as possible. This will give the appearance of a rugged, landscaped area without having to do any actual proper landscaping. I'll let the game do it for me. This would be, like, an actual player's, like, worst nightmare. Like, this dense of a forest right by the house. Because then creepers get stuck in there. Endermen will just wander around forever. Nice. And how's the view from out here? Oh, it's actually kind of lovely in a weird way. There is a bit of a uh, patchy spot that I'm seeing. I'll just go right out the window. Get out of here. All right, I want to figure out... There isn't really an easy way to do this, is there? Doing a redstone contraption to push just regular pistons, sand down, sand in, sand down. Just to completely wall in the player. Nice. Okay, that worked. I'm just gonna do that to give me a little bit of, like, guiding room. Figure out what's going on. So it needs to be... Like this. Oh, here comes a problem. Uh... I've gotta go further out to give myself some, like, room to breathe. So, hypothetical test of Backroom's Piston, part one. <gasps> nice. So now we just need to find a way to get blocks in there. Now, is there a way to make redstone repeat only once? What the heck am I looking at? I don't actually need this contraption here. This is gonna go somewhere else. It's gonna go like here. All right. Testing. Back room's trap door. What happened up there? Oh my god. Whatever happened broke the redstone on top of the pistons. Uh, that's a new one. Didn't expect. 
Backroom piston test, go! <gasps> Ooh! I don't know if I want to do... Um, pressure plates... Is the problem. I'm thinking almost... Like a tripwire hook. Can I just... Can I literally just run string from this to this? No, I can't. Okay, that, that's neat of you, but we're not... I guess I know if the ver at the very least it works. What if I stuck the pressure plates in there? In th inside. And then it would crush the pressure plates. At the very least, the redstone contraption works. <gasps> oh, oh, oh! I actually, I, I, I freaking love this. We're, we're almost done. It, it's, it's a heck of a mess up here, but it looks seamless. And then they're actually trapped in the back rooms. Hi! Thank you so much for 7,500 subscribers. I thought I might just show you guys my Minecraft house and show you show you around. So I got this nice, lovely skeleton painting just kind of hanging out on the wall. Over here, you can see we got, we got luscious woods all around. This here is a little crafting.